Hello, this is Mad Dog Gaming here again today, guys, bringing episode 22 of my NHL 16 online shoot mode series. And without further ado, guys, let's go. And I know I haven't made an NHL video in probably the past two weeks now, but that's obviously because of my montage and everything else going on. I've been really busy and studying for my G1 and stuff like that, so pretty much why I haven't done an NHL video in the past two weeks or be the New York Rangers here. And the story I'm going to tell you guys about today is actually uh, some of my favorite holidays of the year. Favorite TV shows, favorite movies, and favorite music. Well, today I'm going to tell you about my favorite holidays because I don't think I have told you about my favorite holidays. So, I'm going to start with my favorite holidays here. And first up, I love Halloween. Halloween, specifically love for Chocolate, I always loved as a kid dressing up. Not so much dressing up now, I love it for the chocolate because you always want the leftover chocolate after handing out candy. So I love that holiday. Absolutely love Christmas Eve and Christmas Day for chocolate wise and presents and just Christmas dinner and just hanging out with family and friends, honestly. I love that part of it too, just talking to your family and friends when some of them come down and you don't get to speak to them for the rest of the year, just for that time of the year. And that's why I love that time of the year. I love May Long Weekend. May Long Weekend isn't really much of a holiday per se. It's like it's like pretty much like a long weekend or whatever. I only love it because basically I get time off of school and it means that summer is pretty much coming soon and I'm out of school pretty much soon. That's why I love that holiday, honestly. And then obviously I love getting out of school at the end of the year. And not so much of a holiday either, but I love going to Winnipeg every year, doing my Winnipeg trip before school every year before school starts and it's another one of my things I love to do. I obviously love Easter for for its uh, chocolate and that but uh, obviously same for Valentine's Day but I'm really not much of an Easter fan or Valentine's Day fan except for the chocolate obviously. You gotta love chocolate honestly. If you're not a chocolate person I don't know who you are. You're obviously a candy lover. I'm not much of a I mean chocolate is considered somewhat of a candy but I'm not considered a candy candy person. I'm absolutely only love chocolate. Like I'll have chocolate any day over chips or sour candy or anything, honestly. Absolutely love chocolate, especially milk chocolate. Not so much dark chocolate. You do not want to get 90% or 100% dark chocolate. Eating that stuff is bitter. I've had like 70, 80, 90% dark chocolate one time and it took me forever to eat that Easter bunny because it was so bitter like I had to be desperate to eat chocolate if I wanted chocolate honestly I would not recommend eating dark chocolate unless you have some health reason or whatever I mean it is healthier for you than milk chocolate obviously because it doesn't have as much sugars in it it has more antioxidants in it for you that are good for your bloodstream probably and stuff like that but I really don't care much for dark chocolate unless it's only maybe about 70% I wouldn't go anything over 70 actually maybe only 60 honestly like even 60 is pushing it that's a lot of dark chocolate but anyways that's pretty much some of my holidays that I like obviously Halloween um, Christmas Easter, Valentine's Day, I love going to Winnipeg every year, love the end of school year, love May Long Weekend, and that's pretty much all my holidays of the year, guys. For most of those holidays, I do love, obviously, for chocolate and that, but obviously, time around family and stuff like that, I love doing that, too, so, any day you can have time around family or friends and talk to them and tell funny stories, it's just hilarious, especially around Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas time, and Thanksgiving is another one that I like, specifically, honestly. Pumpkin pie, obviously. Um, Christmas, I love Christmas because uh, I get like treats like Nanaimo bar and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Nanaimo bar, guys, if you guys haven't had that, that is absolutely a great dessert. It's basically, if you don't know what it is, it's basically on the bottom. The first layer is like kind of like a cocoa and coconut mixture. That's layer one. And then in the middle, it's like a cream. I don't know how to specifically say it's got like icing sugar in it and some other stuff in it it's absolutely great and then the final and top layer is chocolate it's it's just so great guys you Montreal here now everybody's kind of gotten into the mood of Shea Weber now I mean I have too like honestly like we're not gonna see how he is until the season starts we cannot dictate him just because oh Montreal traded uh, 
or a PK for Shea Weber. Shea Weber's old now. He can't do nothing. You know what? No. I believe Shea Weber can do good things, honestly, with Montreal. Obviously, you got Andrew Shaw there and Alex Radulov and uh, Sergeyev we signed, a rookie, top nine pick in the draft. I think we're going to have a better season. So, yeah. Like I said, that's my story of the day, some hockey news and my favorite holidays. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that story and keep watching my shootouts, honestly. Not, uh, not particularly skilled in the shootouts, but I can do some fancy moves if I want to. That wasn't really fancy. Playing there, Patrick Captain Patrick And there was a thing that uh, Shea Weber's got an A on his jersey, which means he's an assistant. So maybe figuring that maybe after one, two years, become a captain. Maybe three years. Anyways, you, he would honestly be a good captain. I mean, Patrick is still a good captain. I, I'd still love either one of them to be captain. Patrick um, Shea Weber. I mean, also, there's other people that deserve being captain too, like the Panics, Andre Markov. I mean, you want somebody to be captain for a bit though, because Pekanix and Markov are getting up there, and they may be retiring eventually. Not yet, but you never know. I mean, Markov's like 38, 39, maybe 40 now, so he's getting there. He's getting up there in age, so you never know when a person's gonna retire. Like they can retire at 38, 39, they can retire at 40. Obviously, if you're Yarmer Yager, you're still playing at 44. Which is absolutely amazing for his age, for how long he's played in the 90s, early 2000s, and now he's playing in this decade. Like, it's just absolutely amazing. Three shots there, guys, and I win the show with Montreal. Win the first show, win the second show, and not too bad there. And, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much my story of the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the show and this video. That's be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. As always, please remember to like me, videos down below, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mad Day Gaming. As well, in the description box below, we have a Twitch new channel, which is Mad Fisher Dog Fisher Game 31. And also, don't forget to check out my Twitter page. And I hope you guys have a very good day.